Hi, I'm Eduardo Barbosa, Service and Maintenance Manager at ASC. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform maintenance on your vacuum pump to keep it running efficiently long after your autoclave purchase. To begin, let's get to know the vacuum pump. The vacuum pump on your Econoclave generates vacuum, or negative pressure, used to draw down vacuum bag parts inside the autoclave. Without a well-maintained vacuum pump, the vacuum level would degrade and your part quality will suffer. Although there are different types of vacuum pumps, ASE mostly uses single stage, oil flooded, rotary vane vacuum pumps. This type of vacuum pump provides vacuum levels down to one micron at sea level and are relatively inexpensive to maintain. The oil inside the rotary vane vacuum pump has multiple purposes. First, it is used to create vacuum by moving a set of vanes inside an airtight cylinder. As the vanes are displaced, vacuum is created. The oil also works as a coolant and lubricant for the pump. It keeps the surfaces of the rotary vanes and the inside of the pump protected from friction and heat. Before we get into maintaining your pump, let's quickly cover the parts and pieces on the pump you'll need to get familiar with. There is an exhaust filter gauge that detects if the exhaust filter inside the pump is clogged. If you unscrew this gauge, you'll access the oil filling port. Directly below this is a side glass to check your oil level, and below this is the oil drain port. There is also a spin-on oil filter located on the other end of the pump. The pump also has inlet and exhaust filters. The inlet filter is inlined to the vacuum pump between the receiver tank and the pump. And the exhaust filter is located internal to the pump and can be accessed by removing the exhaust filter cover, located at the top of the pump case. Lastly, there is a pump gauge located near the oil filling port. The gauge monitors pressure levels inside the pump, which will tell you if your pump is running efficiently. For your safety, never perform maintenance on the pump while it is energized. Make sure you lock out and tag out the service disconnect switch near the vacuum pump prior to any service. We know the oil inside the vacuum pump is critical to its operation, so let's go over when and how to change it. We recommend changing your vacuum pump's oil every six months for normal, single shift use. If you use your vacuum pump more than this, you will need to change it more frequently. You will also need to replace the oil if you notice the level below one quarter mark on the side glass or if the oil becomes dark in color. So let's get prepared. First, have the replacement oil ready. Check your pump owner's manual to determine which oil you should use. Most ASC pumps use a semi-synthetic type oil. Then, get chemical gloves, a chemical container labeled used oil, and a shop towel or rag for cleaning drips. You'll need to also replace the spin-on oil filter so you have a replacement filter on hand. To start, position the used oil container underneath the drain plug. When you're ready, remove the plug and allow the used oil to drain into the container. Make sure all the oil has drained into the container before putting the drain plug back in the port. Next, remove the used spin-on oil filter and replace it with the new one you have on hand. With your plug and filter securely in place, you can now add the new oil to the vacuum pump by pouring it into the oil filling port. Depending on your access to the oil filling port, you may need to use a funnel. As you fill the pump with oil, watch your oil level in the side glass of the tank and fill the pump until it reaches about three quarters of the way full on the side glass. Be careful not to overfill as this could damage your pump. You can use the towel to catch any oil drips and clean them once you have finished. Now that your pump has new oil, you will want to remove the lock on the disconnect switch and turn the pump on for a minute or two. This will circulate the new oil through the pump. At this time, it's normal for any oil to be foamy or lightly colored in the pump. This is a normal effect of any mixing with the air. However, if the oil continues to appear milky or dark colored, long after shut off, your oil is most likely contaminated and should be replaced with new oil again. After running the pump, check the oil level. If you notice a drop in the oil level, it could mean there is an oil leak, a defective O-ring, a clogged exhaust filter, 
or a leaky valve. Call ASC for assistance if you notice any of these issues. A vacuum pump has two filters that need to be cleaned or replaced regularly. The inlet filter and the exhaust filter. We recommend cleaning your inlet filter every six months and your exhaust filters whenever your exhaust filter gauge reaches the red. Let's start with the inlet filter. When removing the filter, be careful not to allow any dirt or debris that has accumulated outside the pump to fall inside the suction inlet. If the condition of the inlet filter is poor, then it's time to replace the filter. We recommend having a few spares on hand in case filter replacement is needed. Next, let's deal with the vacuum exhaust filter. You will know that your exhaust filter is clogged if you see oil mist coming from the exhaust of the pump, or if the exhaust pressure gauge reaches greater than 3 PSI. Keep in mind that used exhaust filter contains hazardous materials. Do not try to clean it. Dispose of this filter using your company's hazardous waste disposal procedures. Well, there you have it. I hope this video has made the task of maintaining your vacuum pump easier. If you're interested, you'll also find a similar instruction in your Econoclave maintenance manual. If you have any questions or require additional guidance on this topic, give us a call and we'll provide you with whatever support you need. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.